would not. What would you say, um, coming back to your, uh, to your uh, coaching practice, like, do you see um, beliefs that people have that uh, come often and, uh, you know, you were talking about reprogramming with uh, reading, like, what are some of the beliefs that you see uh, often in people that limits them? Well, um, it's an underlying belief, but I often see people that they don't feel worthy. So the self-worth is not there. They're not, they're not deserving of it. So they were never taught to go and ask and believe that they could expect something. Mm. So that's, I, I don't know if that's just a, uh, a generation thing or whatever it was, but it'd be humble type mentality. But it's, you know, you have to expect it because... If you don't, how are you going to get it? Because the expectation is actually a picture in your mind, right? Well, so if you, you don't have a picture, how do you change that? How do, how do you change this, uh, this belief then? Well, my way of doing it or that I suggest doing it, and it doesn't take having a creative mind, but I created this, an idea that I call or a model that I call expectation bridge. So it's basically a bridge. So think of the Grand Canyon, right? You want to get across and it's like, oh man, that's a big hole. Right? <laughs> that's a big get a gaping hole to get across. Okay. So we're going to build a bridge. <clears throat> Great. Okay. Well, let's, let's, you know, pretend you have every capability. Um, let's, let's pretend that you have crews of any kind. So would you build a bridge from one side or both sides and then meet in the middle? You know, what's more efficient, what's more effective. Would you take a drone and fly over? I'm, you know, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so this expectation bridge is this idea. It's this is where you are. And then this is where you want to be. So I say create it in a bubble, you know, create that image in a bubble. What does that look like? What does that feel like? How will you feel? You know, what are you going to gain from that? What's it going to change in your life? What are the people around you going to, you know, start thinking about that. You start building a picture, a clear picture, vision board, or, you know, a picture of what that looks and feels like, because you need to get to what the emotions, because mm -hmm. if you don't get down to the emotions, then you don't feel it in here. You don't feel it in your heart. If you don't feel it in your heart, you know, and I don't know if you know, through your research, we know that there's more neurons in, in the heart than there are in the mind. So we need to get into our heart. So how do we get to our heart? Well, we got to get through our emotions. Our emotions touch and, you know, uh, connect to the heart. So, so the expectation bridge is look at what you are, where you are and then build this picture of where you want to go. And that's the contrast. And we always need contrast because guess what? Once we're over here looking back, we're in appreciation. So what does that look like? Gratitude and appreciation, very powerful forces, by the way. I have a gratitude journal. I write it in every morning, a full page of gratitudes. Bob, Bob Proctor gave it to me. 